Hello, CM. I'm Steve Rogers. This is Peggy, Peggy Fogarty, and Dr. Bargy will be joining us later. And we're going to talk to you a little bit today about student rights and responsibilities. First of all, I want you to know that these rules apply to school grounds, both before and after school, and also at school-sponsored event, events such as Civic Field, or if we go down to Anacortes and have to play down there. Uh, another thing I want to mention that we do have a closed campus here and it's closed campus for everyone except during lunch and at that time sophomores, juniors and seniors can go off campus. And, and we've got one place that we don't like people to go. Isn't that right Peggy? Where That's would that right. be? That would be the trails. <laughs> Trails Stay are not off the good. trails. <laughs> <laughs> Only bad thing, things happen down in the trails. That's for sure. So we expect you to stay out of the woods down there, pretty dark place. Uh, also, having to do with attendance is that you've got 48 hours to get your absence excused. You do that through Miss Terrell. You can do it for family illnesses, doctor's appointments, family emergencies, uh, and other events that are important to the family. Uh, it's really important that you get those things cleared up within 48 hours because we are required by law if you don't get those cleared up after you've had seven of those we have to file what's called a Becker referral and then you'll have to go through the court system which is not pleasant for you or any of us. Peggy you want to say a little about Yeah tardies? we're also really working on cracking down on tardies and the absences so every Monday I get a report from our administrators and I have to call people down for tardies, all your absences, so if they're not cleared, you're going to get an after-school detention. Um, those turn into in-school suspensions down the road, so we really want to get that stuff dealt with. You guys need to get to class on time. I know you can do it. We have five minutes between classes. I've done it. I can do it. You can do it. I'm a lot older. <laughs> so get to class on time, and uh, you'll be okay. Thanks, Peggy. We also okay. don't allow these little items here, <coughs> ECDs. We don't allow these, we don't allow Kindles and those type of things in the classroom. So you can use them between classes, you can use them at lunch, but please keep your cell phones in your pocket and keep them out of sight from others during class so that they don't disrupt the teaching. Uh, if you're caught with one in there, the teachers will take it from you. And if you're doing things like taking pictures of tests or uh, state tests, then you can get in some serious trouble for that. And I think probably Peggy wants to say a little bit of something about thefts at this time about these things. Yeah, well, the other thing is, is with when you're carrying those, you guys, you're going to lose them inevitably. I have so many that I have gotten back um, this year. We've been really lucky getting some uh, cell phones back to kids and iPods. But kids come through, they clear you out, they take what they want. You know, you leave them in the bathroom when you go to the bathroom. And it's just um, easy, easy to lose your items. Um, we're coming into high season for theft right now. It's uh, the holiday season's kicking in, and kids are coming through, taking things. They put them in the pawn shops. They get money for them. So um, best not to have them here. But I know that you know, you do carry them. So just hold on to them. How many cell phones do you think we've had taken so far this school year? Oh, probably about twenty. Probably about 20. Wow. And we've got both With iPods. Both of those. Hmm? Wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, we got impressive. back a lot of them. It's pretty impressive. To the good Samaritans that are bringing yeah. them back. So way to go, you guys. So that's the end of our presentation today. And if you want any to find out anything more about these topics, you can visit the school district website or the Seahome website if you want to read further about these subjects. Thank you. Thank you for your time. See you ya. Know,